Hey guys, welcome back to the Bat Cave. As we mentioned, um, you might have seen in another video, we got some SRC Adventure Moto gear for the 390. We're going to put it on today. Um, what have we got? We've got a headlight protector. We have got a rear rack. We have got crash bars. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, first things first. Oh, and we have a pad for the side stand. First things first, I copped a bit of flack for not having a beer in my hand while I was doing the oil change on the uh, Tenere, so... Cheers guys, it's going to be <laughs> a, about a three beer job this one I reckon. Put behind the camera. Oh, you're doing all the work, eh? Yeah, that's what I do. Cool. I do my own stunts. I'm just going to film then, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with the easiest one first. Yeah. Not What's the headlight that? protector then. <laughs> That's the easiest one, isn't it? Well, the side stand. Side stand, yeah. All right, so we're going to put the side stand uh, foot camel toe thing on first. So obviously, for those who don't know, this thing stops your side stand from sinking into a soft ground. That's the theory anyway. As always, looks like some quality stainless um, gear from SRC. They make the good stuff. Try putting it sideways. No, 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 no. Go sideways from the front. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that'll be. <laughs> cool. It's a nice big pad. And it's quite thin too, so it's not going to be too heavy. All right, that's uh, number one done. So yeah, the, uh, the headlight guard for the 390 is similar to this dog. Yeah, so now it's got the old Perspex one on there from KDM, out with the old. Pretty hard to clean behind that one, you've got to take it off with screws. It's only one screw, but still. So this is the headlight protector for the 390. What's the first step, Bob? Let me just get these in structure roonies. All right guys, so we've got two brackets to install to the bike. This little one here goes top on the headlight there, and then we have another. And then this one here, now it's up underneath there, somehow. We'll get to that in a minute. There's thread lock on everything, of course. Two bolts under there to undo. <laughs> I always muck that up every time. It's hard when it's upside down. Oh, yeah. Righto, so we've got thread lock bolt up through the hole there and a little plastic spacer. Obviously we're just bolting that into where we remove those other two bolts from. It's trying to focus on your face. <laughs> Easy as that guys, two little brackets and then uh, oop, hopefully be able to tighten that up once it's on there so it's in the right spot. Oh yeah, you can get to that bolt when it's on there. Alright, so once the two brackets are on, just a matter of popping it on over the rubber grommets. Yeah, you got to stretch it a bit. There you go. So it's not that easy to throw on and off, but once you get used to it, I think it'll be a bit easier. The good thing about these mesh ones is that you just blast it when you're washing the bike with the pressure washer and yeah. it gets nice and clean behind there anyway. <laughs> mm. Looks good, Dallin. It does. Good job. Looks good. Good job, SRC. Makes it look mean. Yeah. Right, so that's two out of four done. What's next? The rear rack. The rear rack next, eh? Yep. So the one, well, two things that aren't ideal about the AXP rack is plastic and it's flexi. We have added a bit of reinforcement aluminium underneath there, but it's still on a hell of an angle. Um, the SRC one's actually a nice flat um, 
yeah, you'll see when we get it on there, but it's a nice flat surface, so it's not, you know, sloping down. So you know. let's take this off and um, get into it. Cool. Five mil Allen key. So obviously if you've got the stock um, KDM grab handles on here, you'll be removing, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You'll be removing those instead of this thing. But pretty much the same process. Let me guess, you're going to want to give that a clean, aren't you? Absolutely, darling. <laughs> I know you too well. Give SRC one thing though, they pack their stuff really well, but <laughs> it can be can be a freaking time consuming process to get into it. <laughs> I've already taken off the first three layers. <laughs> <laughs> so with the SRC rack, we've got you know, the base plate thing with the side grab handles. And you got your top um, luggage rack, which is really light, quite thin. Mm. So I think that just bolts on there with some spaces. And that goes on the top, the other way around. A whole buttload of spaces here, Tony. What are we supposed to do with those? Well, my love, I'm glad you asked. Oh yeah, read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> There's like three different types. I'd say there'd be four. Four of these little Same ones number. would be for that, surely. Would that be a standoff from there? Tens go here. And the big ones go up the front. And, yep. I think we've figured out what we're doing here. <laughs> we're almost as professional as biker bits here. <laughs> so, yeah. 20 mils at the front. Yeah, so there's eight spaces, guys. Four are the same. They're for the, the luggage plate. We've got two 20 mil ones which go at the front. And then the two 10 mil ones with the bigger holes go here. And we thread lock everything. Wow, this is going to be tricky. Nah, piece of cake. This is a big one. Oh yeah, so there's little countersunk washers for a mold too. So yeah guys, we had to sort of spread them apart. It was a little bit too tight there, but nothing too serious. Um, it might pay to just loosen them up a little. Get no, only of. because of the lineage of that one. Oh, yeah. And the back one. So, yeah. But they're not tight, they should move. That one's in, beautiful. Sucking sick. We're in business. Woo, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, cinch them all down, darling. Make sure you use your torque settings. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the anal torque wrench freaks happy. Are we tightening these ones down as well? Yeah, one. I'm going to get a proper tool for the job there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on it. I'm the proper tool. <laughs> you are a tool, but <laughs> not the proper one. Where's that 5 mil buddy? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do it better. Okay. Nice. <laughs> What's that done? Oh, nice solid grab handles. Oh yeah. Do you know what the best thing about this type of equipment? What? Freaking easy to install. Oh yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they got a handle on it, the old SRC guys. They sure do. So there's no nuts for that? They're in yeah. the actual rack. She's solid as a rock. I won't over tighten these ones, just give them about 15 Newton meters. 
Wow. Done. Beautiful. I freaking love it. So, there we go. Rear rack done. What do you reckon? I love it. Good. Looks awesome. Sorry, AXP. Looks like you're out. SRC is in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw a duffel on and see how it looks. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Do you want to just whip that bag off for us and give us an overall view? The rack. Ah. Get my dodgy tripod out of the way. Beautiful. Mm. It's uh, definitely well made gear. One thing left. Crash bars. The hardest of the lot. Should be pretty <laughs> easy. I don't like using heavy language on YouTube that much, but cripes. There's a lot of work unwrapping these things. <laughs> cripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cripes, baby. Cripes, <laughs> three, three, three hours later, we've got them unwrapped. <laughs> All those zip ties on there, unbelievable. Anyway, where do we start? Working out, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one arm. Yeah. One dumbbell to another. Shut up. <laughs> All right, yeah, we need to take off the uh, other crash bars and then we'll uh... Good girl. We'll uh, get into installing the newbies. As soon as we hire a mini skip to uh, get rid of all this <laughs> wrapping. <laughs> I think I'll get my supervisor hat on. Oh. That Loctite's good. <laughs> I'm trying to keep all these bits and pieces together so you know what's for what. The other rack, so we can sell them on eBay. Yep. All right, we'll be back when we've got these KDM crash bars off. Sorry, Nat doesn't worry about it too much generally, but luckily she's got me to do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, you know, when we take bolts and whatever bits off the bike to add aftermarket accessories, I always put the original bolts that we take off and um, you know, put them in a little plastic bag and just write on there what they're for and then keep them all together, so. Just so, so you know, yeah. I do like to do that too. You always tend to beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do it. <laughs> I tend to do it before they all get mixed up together and you can't remember what the fuck's for what. <laughs> we're still removing the old crash bars. All right, so phase one of installing the SRC crash bars under the 390 is to remove these stupid little winglets thingies off the bike. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm extremely tempted to leave these off. Looks a bit dorky with them off. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? All right, guys, I don't know. Um, so it's a bit hard to know exactly what it's, what, you know, how this compares to doing it to a bike that doesn't have crash bars, but um, for take, you know, for if you've got the KDM crash bars on here already, uh, we have to just take this engine mount bolt out of right there. I think that this was supplied with the, the KDM crash bars. It's a bit different to the original one. Anyway, um, yeah, so we've taken that out. Now we need to remove that, which I think is part of the crash bars as well. Yes. Uh, one of those on each side. That is the heavy ass in here, right? Half inch drive socket for a 12 mil bolt. <laughs> hey, that's all I have. This KDM is going to be like a rack with three gold teeth. What the heck? <laughs> the problem is, SR, like SRC has got some pretty cool um, installation videos for all this stuff. And uh, I'll put links to that in the description of this video, guys. But we can't use them because we're using our phones to <laughs> record audio through these microphones. So if we put a video on to watch it. Um, the audio is not going to record, obviously. Technicalities. We need to bring a laptop down here. All right, we're just working out here what bolts we need for what, and spaces, and jibbity judah. All right, let's do it. He's going to go there, and he's going to go there. You can probably put this big bolt in first, and then, no, you might as well just do it all. Don't listen to me, you just do what you're doing. You got a handle on it? Yep. Beautiful. Straight in. Straight oh, you might want to thread like that one. Oh, yep. Oh, battery's going flat on the camera. We're going to have to switch over to the Osmo in a second. 
See you, bye. <laughs>
big uh, bolt that goes right through with a nut on the other side one of these on each side to tighten up and those guys one on each side both of the pipe jointer ones uh, there and there and then that's that should be it so now we're just putting the finishing touches on which are just those plastic useless guards that protect nothing <laughs> they make it look better apparently mm. ta-da done everything on oh yeah we'll clean up this shit and then we'll uh, have a bit of a bit of a squeeze shit we almost forgot the piece of resistance Ooh. always got to remember the piece of resistance The sacrificial sliders. All we need for that is a Phillips head screwdriver. Here? Yep. Or here. <laughs> I'd say there. <laughs> Have you got the text up the right way? Yep, SRC. Okay. Fast motion. <laughs> I like those crossbars, they are freaking sweet, they are man. Mint. Mm. So good. Definitely a lot better than the, the KDM ones. Oh, yeah, 100%. And they protect so much more. Yep. And that rack, yeah, it's cool too. That's um, <laughs> not a curse you or anything, that, but it's going to be handy for picking the bike up. Not that you drop yeah, it that much. They, yeah, that's a really, <laughs> really good point. Ooh, yeah. Sacrificial. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We forgot the other piece of resistance. The stickers. Steady. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get some sexy music happening. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me peace. Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem From one engineer to another, what do you reckon? Pretty good? Yep <laughs> Pretty amazing, thanks Tony And the guys at SRC Like uh like one particular legendary Aussie is known to say, bloody ripper. All right, guys, that's the end of our SRC 390 gear installation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. That was very subdued. Yep. See you in the fucking next one. See you in the next E. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy